Today, we are going to be replacing this old wooden entry door with a brand new steel prehung door system. This particular door has a double lock set set up. So make sure you have the proper lock set before installing your door. An important aspect of buying a new door is making sure the swing direction is correct and make sure your doors are the same size. Let's start by removing our interior trim. For this, I like to use my Zenith trim puller, link in description. Start from the bottom and work your way up is the easiest way I have found to do this. Now that we have the trim removed, we will do our due diligence in making sure the new door will fit the rough opening by quickly verifying some measurements. It looks like we will have a half an inch gap on either side. Let's get the rest of the trim off from the exterior of the door. Usually, I take the door off the hinges at this point, but these are an old style hinge that are just easier to remove the screws instead. So that's what we will do. And finally get this old crappy door out of here. Starting at the bottom and working your way up, use a flat bar to pry the door jam away from the framing. Sometimes you'll have screws holding it on, but in my case, I had nails. Continue to remove the old door jam. If you haven't already, like this video and hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Pretty pleasy. Once the jam is removed, clean up the rough opening by hammering in any leftover nails. This is a rare case, but I am going to have issues with this flooring, as it will affect the levelness of my door sill. My solution to this is marking a line where the inside of my door frame will sit, and cutting off the excess flooring with a multi-tool. Next, I will remove the new door from the door jam to make the next steps easier for one guy. This allows me to put the door jam in place without the weight of the door. Now, we simply just remove a screw from each hinge, and we're going to be replacing the screws with longer two and three quarter inch screws. This will add significant strength to the door. Next, we add two shims going in opposite directions to make a half inch spacer. You will place this right behind your bottom hinge. With your spacer in place, and assuring that your brick mold is tight against the exterior wall, you can put a screw through your hinge. Perfect. Before doing the same thing to your middle hinge, ensure that your jam is plumb between the bottom and middle hinge. If not, then adjust the shims on the middle hinge until it is. Also do this with the top hinge as well you should end up with a perfectly plumb jam. Yep, I'd say it's pretty plumb. This is where I like to reinstall the door onto the hinges, now that the hinge side is sturdy and plumb. Now we close the door and look at our gap between the door and the jam. It is closer at the bottom, but has a larger gap at the top. What we want to do is make the gap consistent. We are looking for a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth inch gap here. We achieve this by using shims. I like to place my shims as parallel as possible with the shims on the hinge side to make everything copacetic. Before adding screws go ahead and make sure the jam isn't sticking out past the wall. Now I like to add a screw wherever there is a shim. I tuck my screws behind the weather stripping to keep them hidden. Now to cut off the excess shims, simply score with a utility knife and snap. Always safety first. Let's reinstall the trim now. I am using a cordless 16 gauge brad nailer here. Use what you got. Link in description. I feel like a dumbass here but I forgot to insulate in between the door jam and the framing before reinstalling the trim. I'm going to say screw it this time, but FYI, you should always use a spray foam that is non-bowing so you don't throw off your door. Now, it is time to install the lock set. There will be a separate video on this. 
Here I am just ensuring the keys work for the locks. Let's give the door a good close and make sure everything is snug. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time.